We're given f of x equals 3x squared times tangent x divided by secant x. We want to find f prime of x and f prime of negative pi divided by four. Looking at the given function, notice how we have a product of two functions in the numerator, and we also have a quotient. So if we leave the function in its current form, we'd have to apply the quotient rule and the product rule to find the derivative function. And that would be a lot of work, so let's see if we can simplify the given function by writing tangent and secant in terms of sine and cosine. So f of x is equal to, tangent x is equal to sine x divided by cosine x. So we have 3x squared times sine x divided by cosine x. And secant x is equal to the reciprocal of cosine x or one over cosine x. And a fraction by represents division, so instead of dividing by one over cosine x, let's multiply by cosine x over one. So we'd have f of x equals three x squared times sine x divided by cosine x, again, times the reciprocal of one over cosine or cosine x over one. Notice in this form, we have cosine x over cosine x that simplifies to one, so we can write the given function as f of x equals three x squared times sine x. Notice in this form, we still have a product, so we'll have to apply the product rule, but we no longer have to apply the quotient rule as well. So let's review the product rule. The derivative of function f times function g with respect to x is equal to f times g prime plus g times f prime, where in our case, function f would be three x squared and function g would be sine x, which means f prime of x is equal to the first function, three x squared, times the derivative of the second function, which would be the derivative of sine x plus the second function, which is sine x, times the derivative of the first function, which should be the derivative of three x squared. So now let's go ahead and find the derivative here, the derivative here, and then see if we can simplify. So we have f prime of x equals three x squared times the derivative of sine x is cosine x, plus sine x times the derivative of three x squared, which would be six x. So this would be our derivative function. Let's go ahead and factor out the greatest common factor, which would be three x. So f prime of x equals three x times the quantity. If we factor out three x from this first term, we'd have x cosine x. If we factor out three x from the second term, we'd have plus two sine x. So this is the first part of the question. We now have our derivative function. But now we want to evaluate this at negative pi over four radians, which would give us the slope of the tangent line at x equals negative pi divided by four. Let's go ahead and do this on the next slide. So we'll substitute negative pi divided by four for x which would give us three times negative pi divided by four times negative pi divided by four times cosine negative pi divided by four plus two times sine negative pi divided by four. Now we'll determine the trig function values for cosine negative pi over four and sine negative pi over four. To do this, let's take a look at the unit circle. If we were to sketch negative pi over four radians in center position, this would be the initial side. We'd rotate clockwise pi over four radians to here. On the unit circle, x equals cosine theta and y equals sine theta. So cosine negative pi over four radians is equal to square root two over two and sine negative pi over four radians is equal to negative square root two over two. 
So f prime of negative pi over four is going to be equal to, this product here would be negative three pi over four times, here we have negative pi over four times cosine negative pi over four, which is square root two over two. And then we have plus two, or two over one, times sine negative pi over four, which is negative square root two over two. So now we have negative three pi divided by four times, this product here would be negative square root two pi over eight. And then here, notice two over two simplifies to one, so we just have minus square root two. Let's write this as minus square root two over one. So if we want to subtract these fractions, we have to obtain a common denominator, which would be eight. So now we have negative three pi divided by four times, our denominator is eight. The numerator would be negative square root two pi minus eight square root two. Now let's find this product. Notice the denominator would be 32. Now looking at the numerator, we'd have negative three pi times negative square root two pi. That'd be positive three square root two pi squared. And then we have negative three pi times negative eight square root two. That'll be plus 24 square root two pi. So this would be the exact value of f prime of negative pi divided by four. Let's also get our decimal approximation, just in case we're asked to round. Let's go ahead and round this to three decimal places. So our numerator is three square root two times pi squared plus 24 times square root two pi, we divide all this by 32. So it'd be approximately 4.641. Notice the fourth decimal place would be a six, telling us to round up. So 4.641 should be the approximate slope of the tangent line at x equals negative pi over four radians. Let's go and take a look at the tangent line at x equals negative pi over four radians. The function is graphed in blue. Notice when x equals negative pi over four radians, this would be the point on the function. The red line is a tangent line at that point. And since f prime of negative pi over four was approximately 4.641, this would be the approximate slope of this tangent line. It's also the instantaneous rate of change of the function at that point. I hope you found this helpful.